And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome to today's GoTerran TV. I'm Taryn, the traveling trainer with GoTerran Personal Training here in the greater Atlanta area. About to welcome back two amazing, wonderful guests right here on today's show. Now, before we bring them on, I'd like to ask everyone out there, if you'd please be so kind as to like this video, leave us a comment, and share it with all of your friends and family out there. Now, starting from alphabetically by last name, we have your relationship coach, your guide to love, Ms. Haley Helveston, returning to GoTerran TV today. And we also have on the phone Ms. Jessie Lee, who is an awesome group fitness instructor, entrepreneur, and just wonderful lady. And she's going to be on here as well, giving us that perspective of the fitness end of how people can, quote, maintain and don't gain during this Thanksgiving season. Because it's very important right now. People are about to gain weight. we got to stop that. So Jessie Lee is going to help us talk a little bit about fitness, eating right, and Haley's going to approach it from the sexual approach. So this should be very interesting like it was last time with both these ladies, and it's going to be an amazing show today as we have them both here on today's episode. So when we come back, we'll have Haley Helveston and Jessie Lee speaking to you about food, exercise, and sex momentarily. And remember, with GoTerran Personal Training, it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. And as I promised, we have two ladies on the line who were back with me in September. We did one of these with the three of us. We have, uh, starting alphabetically, last name, uh, we have Haley Helveston, who you could see on screen. And then we also have on the phone Jesse Lee, uh, Jessica Washington. So welcome, ladies. You both were with me, let's see, about two months ago we did one of these together. And here we are again today. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm glad to be back. Likewise, yeah. And uh, it's great to hear from both of you. And again, uh, before we jump into today's topic of discussion, because it's interesting, we're literally right around the corner for the holidays, and that was going to be the theme of discussion. And um, I wanted to bring you both on just to kind of talk about that in kind of a three-way panel here. Um, but first questions first, I guess, Haley, we'll start with you. How have you been, and uh, are you ready for Thanksgiving? I have been great. I, uh, you know, it kind of snuck up on me. I cannot believe it is literally this week. Yeah. So I'm excited about Thanksgiving, but also for me, you know, with owning my own business, I do not want to get behind. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to be working a little bit on Thanksgiving, but also very excited to see my family. I'm leaving this afternoon. Excellent. Uh, very good. And then how about wow. yourself, Jesse Lee? You've been doing a lot of traveling since I spoke to you, too. Yes, um, I have. We didn't make it to Japan because of the typhoon. Oh, but, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm, wow. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with not um, making that trip. So um, hopefully we can, we can go back. But just preparing to go to South Africa in a couple of weeks. Oh, my God. Right before Christmas. Yeah, the oh, week cool. of Christmas, actually. So. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow, that's that's exciting. So, uh, yeah, both of you ladies are going to be busy traveling, being on the road, getting your own businesses, um, you know, just roaring through the rest of the year. But um, we, we're going to talk today about something interesting, speaking of the holidays and Christmas. Um, and Haley, being the relationship coach, I guess you could kind of guide us through the first part of this. Before we even started recording, you had mentioned uh, about, um, you know, we talked a little bit about suicides being prevalent around now. Can you kind of touch on that, um, just how people might get depressed and how that could lead to just kind of loneliness and such for some people? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was on the call with a friend on Saturday and he said his sister, I mean, his cousin was suicidal. Mm. And I think with this time of year, um, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I struggle with getting depressed this time of year. Mm. And so I think it's almost even, it is vital for people to up your self-care times 10 million. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like last night I went to a sweat lodge and it was amazing. Um, oh. Yeah, it was a really healing experience of sweating and just detoxing and um, we were doing affirmations, and then we hugged each other, and because so many of us are lacking touch, ah, mm -hmm. um, and so because we're supposed to get twelve hugs a day, but who oh. who gets twelve, wow. right? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, true. Unless right. you, I'm not gonna hug a tree. My sister's right there, <laughs> but <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's so important for people to just up their self care in terms of just diet and exercise and just being around the right people too. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's important. Uh, Jesse Lee, we talked about this too in all of our talks together. Like Haley was kind of just saying how important it is to be around good vibes and good energy, and you know, which you obviously have as well. So, 
Um, how does that go hand in hand with, like, for example, Jesse, when you're teaching and your participants, if you see them kind of down and gloom, how do you bring them back up to kind of what Haley was saying to just be kind of upbeat and such? Well, one thing, one good thing about me is what I do involves activity. And so your endorphins, your uh, blood pressure, everything becomes elevated because we're working out. Mm -hmm. So naturally, you're already feeling better. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in my class, you know, even if you're having a bad day, sometimes the the emotions can be put into the workout. So oh, I right. think that that helps. And also the, the community that's there. So you have other people there that's working out. We're laughing together. We're doing an affirmation at the end of class. So whatever people are going to, I, I myself can ensure that I will try to give them the best experience in my class. So I, I do believe that, that things like that help for anybody, some mm -hmm. type of community and exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Yeah. What were but you the community say? part is key. Community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good point. I agree. Even me, even for me as a teacher, mm -hmm. I feel like going to teach, I'm like, I had a rough day, but my class, you know, I feed off of their energy, too, so you never really know who can benefit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From, yeah. from your from your presence, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And what about, um, you know, back to you, Haley, about the folks that you find that kind of get depressed and are let's say, morbidly obese and upset with themselves and just want to stay home and eat, you know, food and overindulge. Stop and moving! Just, I'm um, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine, <laughs> Jesse Lee. We're in traffic, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, so, no, no, it's okay. I understand. Atlanta traffic is the worst, y'all. Oh, God. No, I, 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 you <laughs> are totally almost, right. It, it was almost a terrible accident. Wait, is she in Atlanta? We're still trying oh, to move. Yes. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, you're right. I mean, this Haley. Is why I'm almost home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I commend you for being on. Um, She's right, isn't listen, she? That, that traffic yes, and, is pretty and I, bad. Well, yeah, it is. But <laughs> what I was saying back to what you're saying is the fact that, um, I mean, it's vital for a community. And I mean, listen, I work online. I own an online business. Obviously, yes, I do do some stuff in person, but mainly online. But now I've noticed that it is really important for me to schedule time with girlfriends or mm -hmm. um, just like I'm joining different like groups, spiritual groups, uh, meditation class, um, just really seeing people in person because that's going to be more and more important mm -hmm. as we get into, uh, you know, advancing technology. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. And, and kind of like, you know, what you were just saying, Jesse Lee, with uh, the holidays, everyone's getting their last minute Black Friday sales and shopping and I see this too, especially here in Buckhead, but like the traffic and people driving the way they drive. I know. The, yeah. That yeah. Was so crazy. Very true. It is stressful. Yeah. It's very stressful. They, they don't. Look, don't take your anger out on the road. That's what was just happening. People were like mad because the traffic stopped and they're, you know, that's why you need to find some type of outlet in life <laughs> to let go of your anger and your frustration. Yeah, you know, only in Atlanta could we have, what is it, 11 o'clock right now in the morning, rush hour traffic. Uh, right. Just, I think people in L.A. and New York underestimate traffic here in Atlanta. Very true. We're, we're, we are right there with them. <laughs> we it's are. Worse. We're on the same level. <laughs> <laughs> and what's worse is, like you said, these people just don't even know how to drive. At least in, like, for example, New York, they know how to, you know, oh. cut around and uh, do all those kind of <laughs> weird things. But uh, so <laughs> Jesse Lee, stress. I know, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. I, I can relate to it. You know, I, I, that's what I do for my job, too, with the traveling. But, um, you know, maybe like Haley was just saying with meditation and kind of um, meeting with people and kind of doing those meditation uh, classes and such, how important is that to connect with people and kind of that social relatedness, do you find? Um, this is me? Yeah, like, for example, like with your oh. classes, like with your group <laughs> participants, uh yeah. So, so yeah, so meditation even outside of class is important because mm -hmm. day to day everything can start to build up. Even if you're organized and you have things consistently moving, I yeah. think sometimes it's just important to take a break and breathe and just have time with yourself. If you're spiritual, you know, with um God and just reconnecting because we can get lost in our lives and uh -huh. forget about the little things and important things. So meditation is very important. Like even my class, I, I 
I encourage them to take yoga outside of me because I, all I do is cardio. So we're we're high energy, but sometimes I like to switch it up and just be in a in a quiet place and yeah. just relax. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think that's yeah. important. Yeah, certainly. And Especially because I'm a mom too. <laughs> oh yeah, no, good, big big good point there, Jesse Lee. Because uh, that that's actually Haley. Do you ever run into uh, any of your clients that have children like Jesse Lee, or have kids that where stress is a mm-hmm. big part of it? Like uh, because that's something also. Don't you find that's uh, you know pretty unique too on how to balance with uh, work life and personal stress and everything. Well, yeah. I mean, listen. I just had a session with a woman, and she said, "Oh yeah, I forgot you told me to do that." In terms mm. of the fact that I told her to <laughs> develop some sort of sexual ritual, because I think that a lot of women, um, you know, again, and men do this too. Our society is so fast paced. We're yeah. going 90 to nothing. We have all of these different, um, you know, obligations. Mm. And so I think self-care right. and self-love, even though, yes, that's super trendy now and everybody's talking about it, a lot of people don't implement it. Yeah. Right. And so it's like um, one thing I've noticed with me is like if I don't implement it, I burn out. Oh, yeah. And so it's almost like now my body's telling me, okay, you have to do it, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. Um, with the meditation, drinking water, um, exercising. Um, yeah. yeah that's and think cool. about it. This is what I did a post today on this. Like the turned on woman is the woman that's going to run, really change the world. Mm-hmm. That's the woman that puts her needs first so then she can serve everybody else. Uh, uh-huh. mm-hmm. that, I was going to ask you that too, Haley, like, because I know when you're a field, you probably – you probably give a lot of yourself out. So mm-hmm. I know sometimes, like me, maybe we can relate on this, like you give, 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 and then you're like, wait a minute, I need to bring it back and like yes. focus on me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you, you definitely touched on that. That's very important. I agree. Well, yeah, we all forget about that. And that's that's why I did that sweat lodge last night is because, like, I love doing yeah. that. If you're, you're in Atlanta, you need to come. It is amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, come on. Let me but know. It is at 9 p.m. on Mondays. And I know this Ooh. sounds crazy, but we're literally sitting in a, um, you know, like a, a shed, and it's, like, 90 degrees, and we're just talking and sweating and just <laughs> letting it. it go, you know. And then we hug each other, and we talk about gratitude, and it was just amazing. And there were, there were kids there last night, so it was a really great experience. Oh, Jesse, well, you could bring Brinley with you. <laughs> oh no, she don't sit still. <laughs> they were little kids, little kids, like like seven year olds. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Well, if if there's other kids, then we're fine. <laughs> you can do it. If not, if not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to you know, leave her. That would actually be a fun episode to video. Uh, also, Haley, to kind of remote, bring a camera with, and try to record a session there. But then again, oh, I don't yeah. know. With the participants, well, I guess we'd have to find out if they're okay with that too. If they'd have to volunteer. You can always do a highlight video, like yes. not get like what you're talking about, but right, right, exactly. But, but think about this though: the guy that leads it, he, I think he was in the military or something, and then now he does. This is what his way of giving giving back to the community. Yeah, it's kind of like a hidden gym in Atlanta, hmm. but it, it's amazing, you know. And it's it's. I think people. I know it sounds kind of a unique thing to do, but it really is transformative. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Huh. Yeah, that's really interesting. I I was uh, speaking of which, like, there's a trainer at the uh, gym that I met in Buckhead. He'd invited me to all men's nudist retreat. Now he said it was like nothing, like as far as like you know, it was on the up and up, legitimate. Mm-hmm. But it was like a way of getting in touch. I, I should definitely put you into touch with him. And um, he's like real, you know, into the sexual like um, energy and such. But mm-hmm. he said you don't have to be gay and it was for straight men also. But um, it was kind of, oh. yeah, so it was really interesting. But I think that seems to be kind of a big thing now. They're, they go to, a, a, I think it's called a yurt. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Mm. But uh, they go out there in the tents and they're all naked. There's no clothing. They do like volleyball and um, swimming and, you know, but mm. uh, told him that I have to check my schedule and get back to him because I don't know if uh, I can oh my God, uh, you're commit so funny. to something like that yet. Uh, <laughs> well, definitely send me his information off to interview. Yeah. Him, that sounds you, interesting. I think you, yeah, definitely. Um, and, and as far as like uh, exercise goes, uh, he's really into fitness. And um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's Jesse Lee, I think he actually teaches at the Y, not at the one that you're at in Buckhead, but uh, a different one. Uh-huh. But, um yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's, uh, I think that seems to be a big thing now. These 
you know, like, for example, like in fitness, you've got like CrossFit, F45, Orange mm-hmm. Theory. Yeah. Um, all of these group fusion classes are really like big, a hit exercises and such. But I think like you said, Haley, you touched on it, like just this kind of like sweating um, kind of thing that where people get together. It's almost like a social, you know, need for like human connection, maybe. Is that part of it? Well, think? yes, we're all um, lacking that. I mean, yeah. I'll admit it, I'm lacking it. I mean, even though, yes, I'm connected, I talk to a lot of people every day online, yeah. that doesn't cut it. Mm, mm-hmm, and so, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's great that, I mean, those group fitness classes are amazing. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Um, e- either of you have, uh, either of you heard of a uh, cuddle party? I don't know if you've seen that before. It's called a cuddle party. I think I have heard of that. Yeah, because I met a guy that did that once, and he said that people were really creeped out by it. But think about it. It does make sense in terms of for someone that's lacking touch. Right. Yeah. Uh So, so Jesse Lee, to give you an idea, it's like a platonic. It's supposed to be platonic, like non-sexual. From what I was understanding, the person that told me that goes to him, he dresses in his pajamas, and you go there. It's all men, women, gay, straight, and you just go around, you cuddle, like you're supposed to hold each other and kind of get human touch. But it, there's rules, like if the person doesn't want to cuddle with you, then I guess they give some kind of sign, I don't know, like an X or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then there's other signs that if they have their hands open like this, it's kind of like this person told me, he's uh, actually, he and his wife are into swinging. Um, that's like open relationships. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me that, I didn't know this, but if you have a pineapple out in your front door, then the pineapple means that that's a universal sign for swingers. Oh, come on. You knew that. I, I, oh, I didn't know that. that. Oh, that's the first time. <laughs> Did you know that, Jesse Lee? I've never heard this I did before. Not. What if- <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. I guess we're hanging around the circle so we talk about this. Oh, I've never. This is to- okay. So Haley, you have to tell us. We're both in the dark on this. Uh, yeah, so you know, Atlanta is a huge swinger city. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I see. That's interesting. I've always had a pineapple out in my front door, and I was always wondering why I got these weird calls and texts from people, and they were sending me pictures. No, you of didn't. The- you really did have. Mostly a- guys. Yeah. Mostly men would send p- pictures of their, uh, you know, uh, whatever. And so yeah. I was like, why are they sending me this? They said you had this on your front door, and I was like. So so are you are you being, are you kidding? You really did have no, a pineapple? Um, yeah, on your front yeah. Door? Well, I I mean, yeah, but I didn't know that's what it meant though till now. I, uh, somebody told me I thought they were joking. I didn't know that was like something serious. That's that's interesting. I mean, I don't know if people oh. actually do it or not, but yeah, I've heard of it. Wow. Oh. Well, I guess uh I yeah, I mean, <laughs> I could keep the pineapple out there, but I don't know. Just uh oh probably God. have to tell people uh it's a non-swing pineapple maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're like so. this is a closed pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel so jaded. I'm just so in the uh, closet on this. I don't really know. Because uh, Atlanta, you're right, Haley. It's a lot of people are very open and um, they're, they're definitely into different things. And, and that's fine. You know, it's okay. Um, mm-hmm. but well, it's t- kind of on the DL, though, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Super on the DL yeah. for me. Because we're especially. still a religious in the South. Yes. I mean, think Bible about what belt. I'm doing. Yep. I mean, I, a lot of my clients aren't in Atlanta. Ah, right, of course. Yeah, wow. that's a good point. My client was in New Jersey earlier. So I think it's, yeah. I, I would love to spread what I'm doing here because people need it. Yes, absolutely. Because, um, you know, Georgia, for sure, especially, you know, it's definitely a, a red state kind of, so to speak, with like in the Bible Belt and, you know, kind of mm-hmm. the, like, gosh, only what, 10 years ago or so, even less than that, where you're had the laws passed where you could buy alcohol on Sundays. I know there's still some counties that are having trouble with, um, you know, things like that. But uh, anyway, yeah, not to go too off topic, but kind of bringing this back. Hey, guys. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so sorry. I just had an incoming call, and I answered it. It's about my daughter. Her school just called me. I have to go. Oh, yeah, of course, Jesse Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I hope everything's okay. I'm so sorry. No, no, I hope everything's all right. No, she's going to be in trouble, so it's not going to be a good day. Throwing chairs. Oh, so I have oh. to go see what's going on with her. Okay, okay, we'll let you go and send us a text. Let I, us know everything's okay, please. I I will. Well, thanks everybody for listening. I'll I'll be back on for a better interview next no, time. No, we got to get you back on. And uh, when you do, Jesse Lee, please uh, shoot a text to Brinley. I don't think Haley's seen a picture of her. You got to see this girl. She's so oh, cute. Oh yes, she's the cutest she's little girl. Beautiful, I've ever but seen. she's apparently having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to go see what's going on. No problem, but Jesse I thank Lee. Y'all. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll let you go. And, Have a good uh, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, okay, Jesse you Lee. Too. Yeah, Happy definitely. Thanksgiving. Thank Bye. you. All right. Um, oh, wow. I hope everything's okay there. Um, mm. So 
that was good to get Jesse Lee's perspective on that, Haley. But, um, you know, she, she was talking about at the end there uh, with people that, you know, here in the South, here in Atlanta, we definitely have people that um, it's almost like taboo. Like every time you and I talk, I almost feel like, oh, we got to be careful of what we say because if people hear the word sex or anything else related to that, they kind of, you know, tighten up and, oh, you're not supposed to talk about that. But uh, do you think that's going to change here in Georgia or especially um... in to be honest with you, it's probably never going to, but yeah. mm-hmm. I do, maybe I do think that, well, anyway, to the back, millennials crave that, right? Yeah, yeah right. And exactly. in times are changing to the point where I did an Instagram story on this yesterday and I yep. said, and I think I've talked to you about this. It's these four things, right? It's mm-hmm. the, um, you know, you're meditating, working out, eating healthy, doing the personal development books or courses, Aha, mentors, right. mm-hmm. but hello, you forgot the elephant in the room, sex. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, exactly. And people don't realize that that's the, that's the elephant that no one talks about. Mm-hmm. That That's like, you know, I was at a gym on Saturday and I met a woman who's in a sexless marriage. And and so it's more common than we think, or not even just to the extreme of sex, of sexless marriage, but we have issues sexually and we don't talk about it. Uh, yeah, you know, that's a good point. I have uh, a friend, he's a retired doctor, uh, cardiac surgeon. He actually told me that uh, he would have a lot of people confide in him, especially, well, men, I guess, mostly is what he had telling him, because he's a doctor, so they would always go to him for problems. Like, you know, guys are always kind of quiet and shy, but they would always, like, tell. it was amazing that the number one thing that he was always told by most of his closest friends is that none of them would have sex for more than, now, this is where it gets really crazy, not a few minutes, but literally, like 30 seconds. That was the average. She said the average guy that would have like 30 seconds of sex and that would be it. And their wives or whoever they were with would be very disappointed. But does that number stack like surprise you? Cause I looked that no, up. No, it doesn't it, shock me. It is really oh, sad. I mean, that's women me. globally. Women globally oh. are under fucked, Darren. Yeah. My mentor calls in. That's a funny. She says under fucked. It's that's true. A good, uh, term. Right. Wow. Um, huh. Because that's, that's why, I mean, come on hmm. for women. I'm not, we're not even close then. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I'm, um, that's just really interesting. So yeah, like, um, he would tell me that most of the men had problems with, I guess, you know, the technical term is premature ejaculation, but mm-hmm. that they just wouldn't, uh, for whatever reason, they, like you said, a few minutes ago, our society's so like fast driven. They want to get stuff done. And these guys would almost be like, okay, I want to just get this over so I can go ahead and do this and get sleep and then get up in the morning. Cause I got to go to work and got all these business meetings. But I guess they're not thinking of the big picture. That, um, no, 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 no. I don't think it's that. I think no. it's, oh, my God, holy shit, I don't want to lose my erection. I mean, oh, right, I need to yeah. focus on my needs. And, yes, I do yes. understand that. Yeah. But then it's also like, well, what about her? But I also ah, feel like right. there's so many factors in this that we don't even know. Like this guy that I was working with recently, he – it's the emotion. I mean, think about it. That If a guy has confidence in his cock and he's really confident, yeah. that yeah. translates in every area of his life. Right. And so what these men that you told me about, that's probably affecting them in their careers. Ah, right. You know, um, yep. that's one thing I've noticed. That's a good point, because a lot of these guys actually were pretty young. He was telling me that these are guys like in their 30s and maybe 40s. But um, yeah, that, that's too young uh, to reach. Yeah, uh, excessive porn use, right? Actually, yeah, I think from what yeah. I recall, that was mm-hmm. one of the things he would tell me, because... Uh, Actually, one of his friends said that they would have to do that just to try to um, maybe get arousal or stimulation. So is it more physical or is it Mm -hmm. more psychological or is it a combination of both? What do you find with these guys? What is the bigger? I think both. Is is both? Okay. Both, but I also think, too, it's the shame. Ah, right. But it's like, let's get over it. I mean, part of the reason why I'm doing is because I think I told you this. Yeah. I was on an antidepressant. I couldn't have an orgasm. Yeah. Now that I'm telling everybody and their mother about it, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Because then I'm meeting yeah. women that are like, oh, I've never had one. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Or women that are like, yes, I can only have an orgasm by myself. Or right. Mm-hmm. Once you co- you open the door, you release the shame. That's uh, what we need to do. Yeah. You know? You know, this is a big gold mine for you then, Haley, because especially since people don't want to talk about it and it's so closed doors. Um, you really have an opportunity to change things and really uh, get uh, Atlanta to kind of come together, so to speak. No pun intended. But, you know, <laughs> Literally. But, well, yeah, like yeah, that, but that's your job. I mean, that's great but, that you yeah. can do that. Yeah, I mean, because so many people need you. Both men need you for that part of it, but women need you because their men can't, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. have these problems. So. And even just for them connecting with their own sexuality, and it's right. not just about sex too. I want people to know this. Like I'm talking right. about your right. emotional, sexual, exactly. spiritual, everything. Yep. But yes, I agree with you. 
it's like you said, it's a total package because we're looking at, like you said, all of the other big four that people have. They're eating well. Mm-hmm. They're you know getting their meditation. They're exercising. But what's lacking is nobody's wanting to talk about the, like you said, the big elephant in the room. And it's almost like uh, it becomes avoidable and uh, people snicker and, oh, you know, we can't talk about that and such. But you said something really uh, revealing. And I agree that I think that guys who have problems – so to speak, in the bedroom, they do exhibit that when they go to work because you see a lot mm-hmm. of people frustrated. And I saw, Jesse Lee, just a few minutes ago, people on uh, traffic, road rage, especially, it's always guys, right? You, hardly mm-hmm. do I see women road rage, but it's always men because they're just probably sexually frustrated. They feel inadequate. So they take it out and they want to go out on the road and, you know, do that, I guess. I don't know. But sometimes uh, it, we need people like you to kind of uh, address this and look at the bigger picture to help this, I think. And, and I commend you for being able to tackle that because that's a big problem. Well, thank you. But the, here's the thing. It affects every area of your life. I mean, yep. think about for me, like yep. I was in a career I hated. So I think it's yeah. it's it's both men and women, but it's also, too, it's like realizing that your pleasure matters and what uh-huh. are you going to do about it? Right. Or are you just going to stay like complacent? Like I've met couples this year who were like, eh, we're, we're sexless. It's okay. Oh, wow. I'm like, oh, okay, you're probably overeating or doing, you're going somewhere There's else. something else. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a hidden underlying factor. And I guess that's the challenge for you is to get to the root of the problem. Because a lot of times they probably don't want to come out and tell you what it is, I'm sure. Well, here, but here's the thing, though. It's doing the inner work. Like this sexual work is the deepest work you can do. Yeah. Because then, of course, you've got to cover the shadow side. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to talk about it. Or... Um, like integrating a healthy sexual relationship with yourself and then with right. your partner Good if point. you're in a relationship. But, and then if you're single, attracting someone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, people – and then here's the thing too is like when you get married, you bring all of your sexual issues with you. Yes, yes, very true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can't just, uh, just snap your fingers, get married, and then it's a reset button or it's a clean slate. Uh, definitely, that, yeah. that transfers. You're right. And that's probably why um, I guess America has what is it like fifty percent divorce rate still? I mean, it's mm-hmm. one of yeah, the largest. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, so luckily, you're here to fix a lot of that, Haley, and that's great. Um, some other thing I didn't get to ask you about since we've been chatting here is um, how your workshops have been going, how your meetings have been, uh, any lined up for the rest of the year too. What's going on with uh, those, Haley? So I don't have any workshops planned at the moment. I okay. thought about planning one in December, but. Uh-huh. I think it's just because since people are so busy this time of uh, year, I yeah. think I'm just going to wait till 2020. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then do one. I met an amazing personal trainer who's also a vegan and he's really into the sexual spiritual community. Cool. I talked with him. We're going to be planning one in 2020. Nice. Very um, good. Yeah. So we, we talked about maybe doing something involving like touch, healthy touch and um, because he, he agrees with me, like even pl- platonic touch now is being eliminated because people are so worried about being politically correct. Ah, uh, right. Of course. And yeah. I'm always like, if I meet someone, Hey, or I hug them or whatever, but you're right. It is almost where you meet someone and you have to, you have to split second think, okay, is this person going to be okay if I hug them? Can I shake their hand? Ah, uh, uh, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you're right. That That's a good point. I mean, that's a whole nother big can of worms. We could talk about that on a, a whole 30-minute video blog in itself, the, this whole thing about touching, hugging. Is it appropriate when, if not? Why is it okay to hug guys but not women, vice versa? So, yeah, that's that's really, really interesting, Haley. But, uh, again, yeah, yeah. I, I think you're doing such an awesome mm-hmm. job. And, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, definitely. This is very exciting. And, and so 2020 is around the corner. Mm-hmm. And I know you're just going to keep rocking out and um, doing it. So uh, this 30 minutes flew by really fast. Again, Haley, this always goes so quickly. Um, but, uh, again, um, you, you're just so well-spoken. And uh, I think that you're doing so much great stuff here in Atlanta. So uh, before we wrap up and let you go, uh, can you go ahead and give us your contact information so we can put that up on the screen when we fade to black, please? Yes, I am Haley Helveston on Instagram, on Facebook. It's Haley.Helveston. And then I'm also your guide to love on YouTube. Perfect. Yes, and you've been getting those YouTube videos out too. Those are great. Also, I commend you. Yeah, definitely recommend you. people to watch those. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, Haley. All right, Haley. Well, thanks again. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Um, I know we've got a little bit of time here before you take off, so safe travels on the road. Happy Thanksgiving, Haley. Thank you. All right, terrific. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.